So the previous video I just fixed this beautiful movement here. BW Raymond 19 jewel jeweled barrel um, and it is a um, vintage Elgin railroad grade pocket watch. Anyway, beautiful movement. I thought I'd put a video on for a few minutes and then take it off a little later, but <clears throat> there's a I replaced one of the screws in this vintage movement. And I'm gonna have to show you up close because um, you'll see the difference in the screws. And well, that is bugging me. Oh, let me just zoom in here. Put it on autofocus, and I'm gonna zoom in on the movement here. Come on, and it, hopefully it zooms in a few seconds here. Come on, come to daddy. Zoom, to daddy. Zoom, to daddy. Oh, maybe I gotta press some autofocus thing here or something to make it zoom. Oh, there we go. VW Raymond. So if you <clears throat> look at these three screws here, this, the three screws from heaven here, there we go. Um, one of these screws ain't like the other. One of these screws ain't kind of the same. So these are a little rounded on the end and this one is completely flat. I got this screw off of a Russian movement um, and it's bugging the crap out of me so what I'm gonna do is find a collet put the screw in my lathe and try to make it look like this so let's see if that works okie dokie all right all right, the screw fits into a five, number five collet, so um, five millimeters across, I think, probably. So it's a five collet. It's in there. Um, I just have to put this in the lathe. All right, there's the screw in the lathe, all ready for action. So I've got to probably get closer to this. So maybe move the camera. So I've elected to uh, use a stone here to see if it'll take material off because I think if I use a graver I'm going to be in grave trouble. I'm going to spin this and see if it removes any material. look like it's taking a bit of material off here but it could take forever to do this let's try it again oh, a little bit more aggressively here I think it is removing material. It's not going that fast though. I'm just wondering whether a file won't work better than, than this technique. How's the stone doing? <coughs> stone seems to be doing fine. Maybe if I put a bit of cutting oil on there, it'll work better. And I'll just try it with some more angles of angles. I'll be back with the results. And I'm going to try to use my 400 grit diamond plate because this thing just works on everything. So, and I'll just flatten it like that and then move it sideways. And you really can't see the action on the inside, but but I'll show you the result when I'm finished. Now back to the stone because the diamond plate did round it off nicely, and I don't want it to take too much material off because I want to put a bit of gloss on there. So. Let me see what that looks like. It's not too bad, so it's it's domed more now. I can see the actual dome on this thing, so I'm just wondering how I get a high shine on that. I'm going to be using one of these stones here. We'll give that to me a little bit of oil. So just put a little oil on the stone here, and then 
that could give me the gloss I'm looking for. And then somebody earlier this week said, hey, why don't you use 4,000 or 3,000 grit sandpaper and that should shine things up nicely. Actually, that worked really nice. So now I'm going to get the 4,000 grit sandpaper out for a second and see what that does. I need to flatten this just a bit though. And then take some of this, come at it with an angle, that way I maintain the dome that I've got here. There we go. Pause that for a second. Alright, I got 2,000 grit sandpaper, and that's got to be enough thousands to, uh, to smoothen this off a bit. So just take it on the edge here and just... That hopefully gives it a bit of a shine. That's not too bad at all. <clears throat> so I'm going to take it apart and then show you the result. So there's a screw all polished thing. I need to get close. So there's a uh, close up of the screw. It's domed a bit before it was flat. Now it's got a bit of a dome on the end of it. I'm going to screw it into the movement and see if it looks a little bit better. Now when I screw it into the movement, I want to take a piece of Rotico and I want to make a little tiny bridge. And this bridge will prevent that screw from falling into the movement and getting lost. Um, but because for sure, if you screw this into the movement and you, um, it's such a small screw that it, it might just jump right in there and get lost. So I always do this, make a little tiny bit of a bridge with Rotico like that. And then take the screw, here it is here. It looks, um, looks a bit different because it's longer square. And I'm just gonna put it in there nice and easy and hopefully it doesn't fall into the movement. Oh, the stupid camera's in the way again. Son of a mother duck. Come on, get out of the way. There we go. Ooh. And I don't think the polish is as nice as the other one was. The other ones were. But I tell you, it looks a lot better from the previous, um, it doesn't have a high gloss polish on it, so <clears throat> I'm not sure what to do about that, but that's much better. And I shall show you the result up close. Alright, there's the result, that's the screw, and as you can see, it's got a bit of a dome on it right now, and it looks a lot more like the other screws that are holding the movement. See the dome? I can, you can kind of see it right there. That looks pretty good. So that is the result. I probably could have polished it a bit more uh, to make it a bit more of a polished uh, screw, but I didn't. Um, and I don't think I'd need to do that. Maybe I can just clean it up with some Rotico and that will, that will give it a bit more of a, a hue. Is that the word you use? Anyway, a quick video on what to do to to fix a screw. Um, so you can use your lathe, and you can uh, use some. Um, I use a diamond plate because those diamond plates are so good. And it was a 400 grit diamond plate, and I've got the 2,000 and the 3,000 grit diamond plates as well for some detailed work. But I took that square screw down, I domed it, um, and I probably could have done a better job polishing it. But there's the result. And it uh, was pretty cool. And as you can see, the amplitude on this watch is now uh, incredible. Um, I think it's going around 400 degrees swing right now. So beautiful watch, beautiful movement, uh, quick job.
Uh, hopefully you've learned something. If you want me to keep this thing up uh, for other people, please say so. If not, I will let you watch it quickly and then take it down. Thanks. Bye.